Hello and welcome. Silray is here with Build Showcase. Build on your screen right there. Pause the video if you wish to copy the exact main components also listed in the description below. Jaeger DD variant. Jaeger is already new acquisition for me. As such, you are going to see my first two games ever in the DD variant in this video. And with that said, obviously I do not have pilot skills in this first game at all. So if you have the basic and elite, maybe even master pilot skills, you're going to see better performance from this particular build. And also know that no modules were in use, so if you have the modules to go with this build, then you're obviously going to see a performance increase. And as soon as I poke my head out to shoot, somebody is trying to fire missiles at me. Slightly annoying. But hey, that's how a life works at times, so you make do with another kind of gameplay plan, which is there is somebody on there and I can use this pillar for cover and that UAV is too far from me to really, you know, be able to uh, land missiles on me. So I'm going to shoot at that thing, you know, you make do with what you're given. Now the pillar blocks the uh, line of fire of those missiles and I have somebody here to shoot. Oh, okay, it's a big thing. That's fine. If it doesn't shoot back, I am all happy shooting at it. Alright, it didn't shoot back. Life is suddenly much better. Much, much better. Right. And then it uh, is distracted by somebody else. And uh, this is the exact situation where I imagine this mech being really, really, really strong. When uh, your teammates are distracting somebody and you get to just pour fire with those UACs into a target. Of course they will eventually jam and such and then you have to stop firing for a little bit. But hey, that's uh, the, exactly the kind of uh, play I was expecting and hoping to do with this belt. To me the uh, Jaegeras are sort of easy to make builds with because most of them are full of ballistics or hard points and all that stuff, so you just basically smack in a bunch of uh, ballistic weapons and uh, maybe some sidearms. As you can see, I have small lasers here. Just in case I run out of ammo or the ballistics get blown up and I am not dead for some reason. And then you just imagine uh, the engine you can fit with all of that. New target sort of acquired. easy in my mind to make uh, um, builds for. But that's just me, that's just my my thinking on this particular situation here. And you could definitely fit in a fourth UAC-5 if you really, really tried. I didn't see the point of going that slow of an engine, I, I don't quite like it. So, yeah. And here I'm actually tanking a little bit of damage, but I managed to scare the Hellbringer away target. and also... Uh, Trying to get more targets to shoot at. Target destroyed. Standing on top of this bridge where I am heading right now is typically a bad idea. Because you are very much in the open from absolutely everyone. But uh, there is somebody behind this pillar. Let's go and, you know, take care of them. Because you make do with what you are given. And right now I am not given any targets. So Target let's go. Acquired. Oh, and it's a small thing. It's a phoenix hawk. And for some odd reason doesn't know I am coming even though his teammates have, you know, targeted me and shot at me. So, um, yeah, I will absolutely come in here and shoot at you. Because for some odd reason uh, you didn't know that I was Target coming in. Destroyed. Didn't get the kill, but got the kill assist and definitely got the distraction value of uh, me and uh, everybody else. Target now, acquired. targets to shoot at from longer range. Outside of the optimal reach of the U UAC-5, so the damage isn't stellar at those ranges, but hey, it's something. And... Come on, come back out of hiding so I can keep shooting. Also, don't wanna fall down, because then I definitely do not have anybody to shoot, because I will be uh, separated from the team. Target. Like, a lot. Sumner, who is coming in with... Uh, and a kind of interesting summoner belt, I will I will just say that. Not going to call it bad or anything, just interesting. 
more targets and uh, at this point I am still in very much good enough condition to uh, tank some damage not too much but some because this is after all an excellent gym build so as somebody who hasn't has basically very very tiny amount of experience with them this is where you get blown up Moving on from Canyon Network to the city covered in snow and ice, as in Frozen City. For this second game I have the couple cheapest pilot skills, already had a few because managed to, well, eke out a win from the first one. And also as mentioned at the end of the, well, last game there. Um, I, well, this is my personal findings, some people might find it differently and so forth. I don't yet have, like, almost any experience actually piloting Jaegers, so I don't really know how well to tank with this thing, even with an XL engine, how much you can take damage, uh, how much you can spread the damage around by trying to tank it and so forth, because I am not used to the geometry and such, uh, from piloting standpoint. However, from shooting Jaegers, which I have done quite a bit of, um, I kind of personally find it easy to excel engine jack the Jaeger. As in, shoot out a sight torso, and if it blows up, yep, it was wearing an XL engine. Because you're wearing XL engines, you don't mount them inside the, um, inside the Mac. Anyways, anyways. I am, that's just my finding, which is uh, kind of the um, kind of uh, the outcome from the previous game as well. Considering I blew up from having my side torso uh, destroyed, even though my center torso was also open. Something to uh, keep in mind when you're playing the Jaegers, at least to me, uh, try to protect the, the the mag when when you can, but also, also, don't ever be fully afraid of dying to the point that you just don't do this, what I'm doing here. Go in with your team, help out your team. Because if you don't, you are more likely to end up being the last mech on your team, still at full armor and multiple enemies coming at you. It just happens too much, alright? Anyway, there was a Kodiak, and if the Kodiak is not poking around the other side of the corner, well, shoot at other things. Hello there, would you like some fire uh, poured into you? And, well, they are missiling me. That's fine. There is a building on the way, and even without the radar deprivation, Frozen City is really good for, as a map, for avoiding missiles, because there is lots and lots of things like this that you can use to uh, absorb missiles for you and definitely take advantage of that. Hello, Jaeger. And I missed. Acquired. Well, need more practice. Come out the here so I can, you know, do more practicing. Uh, don't want to push too much out of the uh, cover because I don't want to expose myself to too many uh, hostiles at once. However, the Timberwolf pushed that aggressively, so Basically, I have to support the timber. Otherwise, the timber is just throwing the life away uh, without, you know, anybody taking advantage of his sacrifice. Hers. It's whatever, you know, kind of a thing is piloting it. You never know when it, when it comes to class, right? Anyway. Anyway, anyway. Lots of things there behind the building, and I'm trying to find targets to shoot at. Hello, and I miss, because I am bad at this game. Uh, miss some more, but hey, now I have a Kodiak to shoot. That is large enough that I didn't miss everything. That's how, how life works. And this is the sort of uh, uh, gameplay I kind of was expecting when I made this build anyway. Because it's like, oh, um, target practice while my team is doing stuff. And well, yep, uh, some people are still shooting at me. Which is absolutely fine. Because that means uh, the front line I have is also, well, not taking all the fire. So I am I am taking some of the fire away from the front line. Of course, um, because this positioning in my mind at least, is not very good on this particular map. You have to, uh, well, you don't have to, 
but to my mind you want to play this polyglot positioning a bit differently than my team is doing here. So uh, we are losing essentially on max. That's just how it goes sometimes and then you try and make do with the best you can. Uh, I am not at all yet comfortable enough to try and force uh, situations out of this map. As in, uh, push aggressively into many many places against many mechs, especially when they are clustered like that. As in, the enemy team is playing really really well here. They're just not giving us all the opportunities we need to really turn this game around. And this is where... Oh, okay, I'm going to die. I knew it when I went this camp happened. And let's just do as much damage as possible before I blow up. Try this build out, it's fun. 